Hi everybody, Keith Jackson speaking. I thought it was about time that I um, had a review of my uh, seedlings. These are Dendrobium Hilda Poxen, which I deflashed on the 26th of January. Um, I lost the two tiniest that were in this pot for this chap. Um, but they really weren't ever so clever in the first place. So I wasn't really surprised when they disappeared. But the others are apparently happy. That I'm fairly sure is a new growth. The roots are starting to burrow. So I'm um, pleased and surprised these two perhaps have done the least, but they haven't gone anywhere either. You know, perhaps they just need a little bit more time, but um, there's no sign of deterioration at the very least. This one... Um, well, you can call it a mixed bag in some ways. That's definitely a new growth just there. Um, but again, the the roots are burrowing, um, and really, I don't think I could ask for any better than that. Sort of what five weeks or so, five or six weeks since I took them out of the flask. I think. We c I can be uh, very happy with that, very happy indeed, considering it's the first time I've tried it. They've been in a completely standard um, seed tray with a plastic top. Um, the top has a vent on, that's been uh, opened fully now, so they're getting humidity. Um, but they're not uh, getting anything like the humidity they were to start with, so they seem to be settling okay. Um, just while we're talking, I had a nice surprise this morning. This is one of my um, Symbidiums that I repotted recently. The first one I did, which had by far the best roots, and it's rewarded me by sticking up um, a third new growth, which I'm very pleased with. It's the first time I've tried to grow pleonies. I bought six bulbs, two of three different varieties. That's Rossini, Vivaldi and Tongariro from Thompson and Morgan. Uh, I ordered them at the end of last year. They turned up at the end of January and I potted them in Burnham Orchids uh, seedling compost. And as you can see, they're doing all right. Um, it's a pity they're all going to come out more or less the same shade. That's there. These are actually th uh, one of each of the three different flowers. Not quite there yet, but you can see that this one is not far off. The picture I'm getting through the viewfinder is much paler than it is in real life. That is a real deep uh, lilac colour and not that thin purple. Now there's a couple of interesting things with these. Um, two of them have put up, let's turn it around so I can see a little bit better, two of them have put up two spikes, that one there, and then, where's the other one gone, oh yes, there's one there that's got a flower on, and got another one just there, and that one looks as if it's going to turn into a leaf, now this particular one hasn't flowered, I'm presuming now it isn't going to because that spike's obviously going to turn into a pseudo bulb. 
But the interesting bit, and I'm told this is very common with green, is, is that just there, which is what we call on any other type of orchid a cakey. And if those aren't roots, then find the proverbial Dutchman's uncle. So that's that one. And this is my rescue oncidium type. I got this without any flowers on it from a Dobby garden centre. It was in a real state, half out of its pot, bone dry, no flowers left. And I got it for £1.50 instead of £15. And it, that was last June, and it's taken until now, the end of February, beginning of March, for it to uh, show me what it actually is. Um, again, we're not getting the greatest of colour renditions on this. It's, um, it's actually... Um, a deeper brown, a deeper red, and where it's showing the bottom of the lip absolutely white, it is a soft white, but it's also got yellow highlights around the edge. But we've now got five flowers out, they've come out in all kinds of orientations, every which way but loose, as the saying goes, and there's plenty more to come on that. Well, I think that's about it for today. A nice quick one, and I'll see you again next time.